Dear ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, let me ask you a couple of minutes of your attention because very important and I think extraordinary event had happened yesterday. Uh, Ukrainian and Russian sites uh, are working in clinical trials in uh, this activity within the last 20 years. But yesterday, really extraordinary thing had happened. Never before, the invited speaker and presenter of uh, a key report of the investigator meeting, never before uh, we had uh, no the president of American Society of Clinical Oncology. I think, I'm sure, I believe that it necessary to be informed for you that uh, our speaker, uh, Professor uh, Douglas Blaney, was elected like the president of ASCO in 2009 and it is really greatest honor for us, the first event, and we'd like to welcome you over here and announce it. Dear colleagues, let me to inform that uh, Professor Lainey uh, graduated and received his medical, uh, medical doctor in uh, California University, as he said, many years ago. After that, he had a fellowship in uh, National Comprehensive Cancer Center in Maryland in oncology. So, for many years, he was the medical director of Michigan University Oncology Center. And just now, he continued his active and fruitful work in uh, uh, Comprehensive Cancer Center in uh, Stanford. And I'd like to say once again, in 2009, he was elected like the president of American Society of Clinical Oncology. And the slogan of that presidential year, uh, year of Professor Lady was advancing, advancing oncology through innovations. Advancing oncology through innovation. I kindly advise you to find out in internet uh, his uh, speech for May 10, uh, May 18, uh, 2010, uh, ASCO Presidential Recommendation to National Cancer Advisory Board, where he reflected all his ideas how to develop innovation and how to develop oncology. Since we just now on the way to see how we implement and still continue to implement these ideas because we are testing the new drugs and thank you Professor Douglas Bailey, thank you once again for this nice presentation. It's great honor for our auditor and it is for the first time in history of Russian and Ukrainian science.